Hello YouTube and welcome to another episode of The Cloudy Vape. In this video we're going to be talking about the updated 521 tab by Coilmaster. So let's check it out. Here we go. Here is the box that comes in. Let's take a little look at this. Here is all the information if you want to pause it and have a look. Coilmaster 521 tab. Now this is not essentially the version 2 but it is an updated version to the original. So let's just call it the version 1.5 so uh here we go here's the device not too bad we'll go into more detail on that let's look at the manual we have a little card paraphernalia right there you have details about the device uh, about the warnings and uh your different uh, ratings on it and stuff like that so let's open this up I'll read a little bit about the specs. So the uh, specifications, resistant measuring 0 0.0129.99 ohms. Voltage measuring is 0 0.3 to 9.99 volts. Resistance rating as low as 0 0.2 ohms. That means it will fire down to 0 0.2 ohms. Uh, connection is a 510 spring loaded. Charging is at 4.5 volts. Uh, 750 ma micro USB charging input battery is a lithium or yeah it does not include <laughs> it does not include a battery but it does require an 18650 high drain 3.7 uh, volt battery and it will automatically pour, uh, power off uh, after 15 seconds of burning it so the dimensions are 49.5 millimeters by 84 0.5 millimeters by 69.5 millimeters. Uh, it does have a little bit of warnings on it uh, in what not, but um, yeah. So let's go ahead and dive into it and check it out. So I do have the older uh, Coilmaster tab and I will be showing the differences. Uh, so essentially in the box, you're going to get your tab right here. You're going to get a little uh, black box right here that will have your uh, alligator clips. You'll have these little clips so you can uh, check wire voltage on it. Um, there are your clips. You also have a USB charging cable. Not very long charging cable, but it is one nonetheless. Uh, let me set this aside real quickly. Alrighty. Uh, this right here is your inline voltage meter. So what you would do is you would pop this right on to these two, these two prongs right here would go down into here. That would cover up your firing button. What you would do is you would connect your mech mod or device right here and you would connect your atomizer right there. You would check it and you would be able to uh, see the voltage drop on that. So that is pretty cool. I'm going to set this aside. Let's set this down. Now it might be a little bit... Um, a little bit dark because it's black on black so I'm going to take this piece of paper and I'm just going to uh, work on top of this paper just like that there you go now you can see it better I will also boost the lighting just a little bit so we can see it more alrighty so there we go now let me pop this off so here it is here is your tab not too bad now let's look how we put a battery in essentially you pop off the back part which is magnetized you have two little uh, prongs if you see these little um, you know posts that go down into here so that will lock it in that way you know which way the panel goes on now it does require a battery now if you look down in there there is a positive and negative there is your positive your negative so let's go ahead and use this lanyard to help us get the battery out when we put it back in. I'm going to pop that down in, positive, negative. Pop this back on. And let's go ahead and turn it on. Let's turn it on to burn. So you do see you have a, a LED right there. Uh, you also have a meter. This is for your meter mode. If you want to put an atomizer on, now you can screw your atomizer down on. Now I'm just going over this quickly because uh, the original one has been talked about a bit. So there we go, 0.32 ohms. Now that will just check your meter. Now what you can do is you can switch this. Let me show this right here. Over to burn. You can hit your burn button. And it will fire it. It will fire it and it will show how many volts are being pulled. 
3.4 volts so sure there is a drop in it let me go and put on the um, let me put on the let me switch it to this so now you're looking on your left your left is your new one your right is your old one so the screen is going to be a little bit different on the old one if you see the screen is a little bit longer on the uh, uh, new one right here here's a new one on the old one the screen is actually like an OLED it ha looks a different different readout um, and then the big thing I noticed is on your switches if you see right here your switches this one actually indicates um, this is going to indicate what each button is which is nice uh, or what the switch is which is nice over here you actually have to look down it's kind of kind of annoying here is the old one just so you know you have to take off the back panel then look at the bottom and then you'll know which way the switch is so the big change up for the new one is it's right there underneath the switch you don't have to worry about taking off the back panel to see which way is which so that is a big improvement now the other thing is on the old one you have these kind of just uh, plastic uh, they're kind of just hard plastic feet right here on this one the new one you're gonna have rubber uh, kind of rubber uh, shoe or little rubber feet right here that will hold it in place this one will actually slide around on tables and stuff this one is not gonna slide this slides around this one is not gonna slide so that's that's a big difference for uh, you know the change up now if you do notice on the top there is a little bit of markings that are different you do have markings right here that'll say ohm reader 521 tab coil master uh, so it does look a tiny bit different but as far as sizing and stuff it's about the same now the other thing too is the battery panel stays on the new one a lot better than the old one it's a much snugger and it just snaps right on there no problem now this one just kind of just falls off and if you move it around see you can actually push it and move it off and this one if you push it it's staying in place because it has those little those little posts that go down in so that's going to be the big change up for that so initially the biggest difference for this upgrade you're going to see is you have a different screen uh, more of a, a true uh, LED readout this one is a little bit weird I believe this is more of an OLED if I do remember um, let me throw the battery into pop it out of here and throw it into this one Just to show you what this readout is in case you've never seen what the old one looks like So let's switch it over Yeah, so I believe this is an OLED if you see this is an OLED readout Whereas the other one is just an LED readout so pop that out Let me get this right here pop this back in now as far as your accessories, let me put this back in, as far as your accessories, um, they do differ a tiny bit. I know the alligator clips are um, a little bit more insulated on this one than it was on the other one, if I do remember. So let's see these alligator clips real quick. There's your USB. Now if I do remember, these seem to be... Um, I would have to dig up my old ones but I believe these ones are these are a little bit more firmer uh, they have a little bit more resistance on the clips on the actual alligator clips and I believe they're more insulated than the other ones um, it does feel like a little bit better quality um, on the actual uh, post of these I did have a little bit of issue on the other one so these initially just pop down right into these two holes right here which are for your uh, testing pop them down in there you can uh, test positive and negative you can also test resistance of wire and different things like that if you want to see a more in-depth uh, review of the tab I'll put my other review of the older one down below but uh, this kind of just uh, upgrades it and makes a little bit more snazzy so that is the biggest difference of the new one um, as far as the little inline voltage uh, tester I don't really see much difference with this compared to the old one it does what it needs to do and it's a great product so that is that gonna have a little vape on it oh. 
All right, so there it is. There's the updated Coilmaster 521 tab. Let's call it the 1.5. Here is the old one. Now you know the differences between the two, and that is all. I definitely would recommend picking up one of these. However, the old one does still do its justice. It does what it needs to do. The few change-ups on these mostly are aesthetic. Um, really do, do uh, bring this together a little bit better. I do like how this has the, uh, the markings right here. I like how the bottom panel is more firm. Uh, I do like this readout a little bit better. It uh, makes a little bit more sense to me at least. That U is actually voltage. It's not like a U, like U, whatever. And as you fire, you can see your voltage reading, which is awesome. Um, and then, you know, when you test it, you can also see the homage and whatnot. So, yeah, it does what it needs to do. Good stuff, good stuff. So, uh, yeah, that is all. I'm gonna wrap it up, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.